Hello, Saints. It's Sister with a testimony on the Mount of Olives today, Miss Hope. I'm bringing you the secret to discerning mere professors on today. Father God, have your way today. Let these seeds be planted in fertile ground in Yahushua's name. So Luke 6, 43 through 46 is the secret to discerning mere professors. Luke 6, 43, for a good tree brings not forth fruit that is corrupt. Neither does a corrupt tree bring forth fruit that is good. For every tree is known by his own fruit. For thorns, for of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of bramble bushes do they gather grapes. A good man of the good treasure of his heart brings good. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And Jesus ended this, this certain section of scripture in Luke 6, 43 through 46, the secret to discern mere professors. He ended it with a question. And why call ye me Lord and do not the things which I say? Saints, think about that one today. You got a lot of people out there that are saying Jesus. A lot of people are professing to have a personal relationship with Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They are mere professors. The secret to discerning the ones that are real and are not real is the fruit that they produce. Over in Matthew chapter 7, you'll find out again that he speaks of those false prophets. He speaks of those that come in sheep's clothing, but they are actually wolves. Saints, you've got to sharpen your discernment by getting in the Word of God, by studying, by praying. Throw some fasting in there and just get alone with the Lord and fast and pray and seek the Lord's face and ask Him to show you what the truth is because saints there's going to be a lot of people that come and they're going to be working miracles signs and wonders and uh, a lot of you are going to fall for it because they're going to be possessed by kundalini kundalini is a spirit it is nothing other than leviathan pride they're going to come with puffed up minds in colossians chapter 2 verse 17 and 18 you are warned you are seriously warned about listening to people that say they've had these vain imaginations. They've been speaking with angels. They've been just sitting there in God's throne room talking to different people that have already gone on. They are seriously uh, telling us that they are going into and out of heaven and ascending into and out of the throne room saints if you will wake up and read the scripture you do not need jesus christ of nazareth nor do you need the holy spirit ruach hakodesh if you already have a spirit that can take you into and out of heaven at your own command we're talking about knowing how to discern mere professors they're going to come and tell you all kinds of puffed up ideologies and the word of God says do not listen do not be drawn away do not be deceived saints I if I could I would beg you to wake up a good tree doesn't bring forth bad fruit a bad tree does not bring forth good fruit According to the word of God, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If they're not telling you to repent and turn from your wicked ways, if they are not telling you that you have to go to the Father and say, forgive me 
for I am undone a man with unclean lips. If they are not telling you that your righteousness is of filthy rags, saints, you got a problem. You've got a wolf in sheep's clothing. Send them the money so that they can send you a miracle. I personally have the miracle worker, the miracle worker living inside me, Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of holiness. Saints, you're going to see them for what they truly are if you will look through clear spiritual eyes. Get your rose-colored glasses off, saints. A good tree cannot bring forth bad fruit. A bad tree cannot bring forth good fruit. Out of their own mouth, they will speak what is in their heart. And if it's all about visions and dreams and telling the future and forecasting your future and everybody else's future for a dollar especially, then you're going to know that is a wolf in sheep's clothing. We are supposed to be preaching the gospel, the cross, and Jesus Christ crucified. The Holy Spirit is very capable of saving, sanctifying, setting free, and delivering. The Holy Spirit is not going to come to you and say, come on, let's go to the throne room. He lives in you. You are the tabernacle of testimony. And you are. You are an altar to bring glory and honor to God himself. Saints, the word of God is very specific. Jesus is asking a question here. Why do you bother to call me Lord, Lord, when you won't do the things I tell you to do? There's your clue, saints. It's called obedience, self-sacrifice, self-surrender, self no longer in control. So I'll leave you with this. I pray that you open the eyes of your heart and ask to see the Lord as he truly is. I ask that you go before him, that you continually stay in a place of repentant prayer and humbling yourself before him, making sure by examining yourself that you're truly in the faith and that you stop listening to all of this hoopla and hoodoo and voodoo. It comes from witchcraft. It comes from a work of the flesh called divination, the spirit of divination and familiar spirits. If you're hearing an inner voice, it's probably in your head telling you to do things that God said not to do. That's how you're going to know, saints. You're going to obey God's word from A to Z. That means Aleph to Tau. Jesus said in the Greek, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. In the original Aramaic, the old scripture, it would be Aleph and Tau, the beginning and the end. In Revelation, he said, I am he that was alive, I was dead, and now I'm alive forevermore. Saints, you can't get out of that. You cannot break it up, break it down, and change it. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Yahshua, Yahushua, Hamashiach, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and you will bow before him and you will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It won't matter how many times you went into and out of heaven. It won't matter how many visions you spoke. It won't matter how many uh, people that were following you and sending you money. It won't matter how big your YouTube channel is. Saints, you're going to have to stand before the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings and give an account for doing the things that you're doing. And if you're not doing it, don't get drawn into it. Read your scriptures. Stop taking anybody's word for it, especially me, because guess what? I don't want your blood on my hands. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and don't do the things I say? That's Jesus' words. Ponder that, saints. I appreciate you. I love you. God bless you. It's Sister with a Testimony on the Mount of Olives. 
have a wonderful and blessed and glorious day. In Jesus' name.